We all like to think that the community that we're a part of is just a pure place. Are there really people in the Rocket League community who would exploit us for their own personal gain? Well, the sad answer is yes. <laughs> and they're probably the same people who use the Fennec. Look at this dude. So how do you avoid these people? And how do you know the signs of a scam happening? Well, in this video, I'm basically going to answer that question because I've partnered with the guys over at BOSF to bring you guys 10 trading scams to watch out for in Rocket League. If you guys haven't checked out the BOSF, Discord, definitely do that. This is a really cool community of traders and players. Oh, and they even have their own esports team in RLCS currently under the same name. So go show them some love as well if you watch RLCS. But yeah, they helped me out by bringing me all of this information regarding all the scams that you need to look out for because they're people that are a part of the trading scene. They've kind of seen it all. So without further ado, let's jump in. So the first one on our list is the too good to be true scam. And this one actually includes two scammers. One of them offers an unreal amount of credit for a relatively crappy item, which is actually owned by the second scammer who is also involved in the scam. So let's say, for example, you know, a Burnt Sienna Playmaker breakout for 5k. The second scammer now posts his Burnt Sienna Playmaker breakout for a bit less than the price of the first scammer, for example, 4k. So you come along and you're like, oh, sweet, I can buy this item for 4k and sell it to this other person for 5k. What a deal. So you go and buy the one for 4k and the first scammer, which offered 5k for it, takes his offer back or simply ignores the trade and boom, scam executed. Even though you thought you were gonna get a deal and make some credits off of this, you actually just bought a way overpriced breakout. So the way to prevent this is really to just recognize, you know, there's a lot of trades like this. And yeah, it's if it's too good to be true, as a lot of people say, then it probably is. All right, so the second one uh, is one that really only happens on PC and specifically on Steam. This is the invite spam scam. So in this case, you have one scammer included. Normally they ask you, for example, can you put in your black D cheese and press accept and you cancel the trade at one second left on the timer. Now it doesn't sound like it would be that bad because you can cancel the trade and it's not gonna go through, right? Well, you're actually wrong. Shortly before the trade timer hits one second, the guy will spam you with party invites or just something on Steam which will pop up and go over the cancel button of the trade so you can't stop the trade from proceeding and the scam is executed. Now, if someone obviously asks you to cancel it with one second left, you know, you should be like, why? <laughs> why are you asking me to do this, but this actually does happen. So the whole idea behind this is that they're actually asking you to take a screenshot of your items with the accepted trade. And so yeah, if people ask you to do this, it should be, you know, sort of an alarm and you should know to avoid that. All right, this one is called the sketchy discord scam. And so there are two scammers that are involved in this and the scam only works if there is a middleman necessary for the deal to happen. So after the two parties agreed on the deal, the scammer is sending you this discord server that you're supposed to join, which has, you know, a trustable middleman. Most of them look pretty well made and also have a good amount of members. Then basically they lure you into a middleman call on this server and a fake middleman appears. This is the second scammer and that fake middleman then takes all of your items and dips. So they're basically trying to make you think you need a middleman and he's really just taking all your stuff. <laughs> So, you know, the only way to do this is to only use trusted Discord servers for things like this. To basically just don't mess with people who you don't know and who could potentially be scamming you. All right, the next one is the Discord prize bot scam. Probably everyone received this message on Discord DMs by now, you've probably seen this. You won this and this item, and so go to this site, log in, and receive it. Now this scam is probably one of the biggest spread scams, as the scammers can basically raid huge Rocket League servers with their bots, and they're actually able to DM every single user. Eventually one guy will log in with his data, and nothing happens. So basically when you go and you log into this account, they get your info and are able to get into your Steam and basically trade away all of your items to another account. So never log in with your information on any link that is provided to you by someone else, especially when they're saying this kind of thing. I actually had this happen at one point, or at least something similar. I got a message from this guy saying, hey, did you see what Jazer said about you? <laughs> and so some fake article saying that Jazer said something about me and I'm such a dummy, I clicked on it. I didn't go have to log in or anything. Just clicking on the link made it so that they had access to my Steam. And I think I lost all my friends at that point, if I remember right. And I don't know if they took all my items or not, but something like that happened. 
Anyways, just watch out for links. All right, this one is called the item swap scam. And this is where there is only one scammer included. So you want to buy, say, a titanium white octane, for example, and the scammer puts the titanium white octane at the beginning so it looks legit on the first, you know, glance. Now he will message you on Steam, for example, hey, I've got, you know, some blueprints that you can have for free. And he fills up the trade window with 24 items, 23 of which are blueprints. And he says you can have them for free, right? And after that, he will message something again and swap out the titanium white octane for a gray one, which is not very easy to tell the difference. And so you've got your trade window, looks like you're getting the same item, but you're not. And even though he did give you all those blueprints, it's not gonna make up for that titanium white octane. And so yeah, if you haven't checked the trade window or you know really double check the details and the color, then you've been scammed. So always use the show details function on the bottom left of the trade window and hover over the item to see the color and certification at any time. That's a good way to prevent this. And you know, right before you hit the accept button, make sure you've done that. All right, this one is known as the Steam Group Kick Scam. So you're in this lobby and you're trading with the user and they ask you to show your expensive items. They say they wanna take a screenshot of you pretending to gift the items while the trade timer is counting down. <laughs> okay, this should be obvious, but people fall for this. So they access the Steam overlay and kick you out of the Steam group. And this forces you to alt tab out of Rocket League with the countdown timer still active. And by the time most users are able to get back in, like alt tab back in, the trade lobby screen has ended, the trade has been completed, and the items have already been passed over. So again, if anyone asks you to take a screenshot of your items with an accepted trade, your alarm bells should be ringing in your head that this is a scam. All right, so this one is the impersonator scam. So the scammer is actually imposing as a highly reputable trader or like a, a really well-known community figure. You know, they could be pretending to be Flume, for example. And they're trying to use their reputation to make people go first and scam like their items that way. So they usually have very impersonal like Steam profiles, their Discord names, you know, they try to make them look like the profiles of say somebody like Floomp or Sunless or John Sandman. And they're gonna be able to use that reputation to get you to do things that you wouldn't otherwise do in terms of trading. You're gonna be more willing to trade, you know, something cool to Sunless Khan, right, than you would be just some random person because it's Sunless Khan, right? This is the epitome of people in power abusing people. But in this case, obviously they're faking to be that person and using that to make you trade with them in unreasonable ways or scam you. So always check the exact tag on Discord, check for their servers. The big servers have impersonators banned pretty fast most of the time. So that's a good thing to look out for if they're banned. Another thing to look for is the Steam level of the account the person is using. Most of the high level traders also have a high level Steam profile. Same for people who are, you know, really involved in the community. And you can't fake that without spending a bunch of money first. So more than likely they won't have that. All right, this one is called the fake trading bot. So basically the scammer tells you that he has the item sitting on his trading bot and that you can do the trade with the bot on the website, which he will provide you with by sharing a link. And and again, if you log into this fake website, the scammer will have all of your account info and can log into your Steam and steal all of your stuff. <laughs> so, okay, the way to prevent this is to know all of the trading bots have been eliminated by a psionics. They are against terms of service. They don't exist anymore. So if someone sends you something about working with a trading bot, it's 100% a scam. All right, this one is called the mule account scam. So you add the scammer on his main profile or his bait profile for trading. He then sends you a profile link of his mule, which apparently has the items on it to trade and that you should be able to add it. So if you click on the link though, a fake Steam page appears, which, you know, looks pretty well made. It, you know, looks like a Steam account. Sometimes they're pretty like poorly made and you'll be able to tell. So if you log in with your data on that Steam, you know, account, <laughs> that's not actually Steam, your data is lost. The scammers take all your items. Again, like a lot of these, it's a way of taking your information. They then log into your account for like with the data that they got from you and they trade away all your items. So never add someone by a random profile link Rather ask them for the friend code to get to the people's profiles. Good thing to remember. All right, this is number one on our list and this one is called the duplication scam. So the scammer meets up with a player in a lobby telling them that they can duplicate items. The scammer will ask for an item to duplicate, which the scammer also has in his inventory. So the trader gives the item to the scammer in hope that he gets two of it back after it's duplicated. Obviously, in this case, he just doesn't give you it back at all. So the way to prevent this, if someone says that they can duplicate your item, 
they are 100% a scammer. <laughs> this thing, these things seem obvious, but sometimes when you're in the moment, you make dumb decisions. We've all done it before. We've all been scammed, right? Everybody's been scammed at some point in some way. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what to look out for. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I raised some awareness for how people can scam you in Rocket League trades. Be on the lookout, stay safe out there. And again, big thanks to BOSF for helping me out with this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.